Dun, dun, dun. Wait, I was trying dun, to do. Dun, the, dun, 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 I was trying to do the dun, 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 the dun, dun, intro dun. to the podcast. Do we have an intro? Yeah, we've had a whole first season, <laughs> and you didn't realize there was an intro. This is why you just. This is just just. What's up, Real Talk Podcast listeners? I just spit. Um, and subscribers, we're back for a second season of the Real Talk Podcast. Season two. And I have my goofy ass <laughs> bestie Joey back with me to co-host this season. What's up? And as you can already tell, the audio is probably much better than the previous season. We got them big kid mics, baby. Because we don't have Mar we don't have Marcez's ghetto ass microphones no more. <laughs> I'm getting the bird. I'm getting the bird. But we're back. And we've upgraded for you. We've listened to your feedback and right. we have upgraded because y'all was bitching. Rightfully so. Though. Rightfully so. We, we were bitching knew. right along with we you. We were complaining too, but our team just didn't care. They did not care <laughs> about so my feedback. So my videographer didn't care. My manager did not care. Nobody cared. You're such a victim. Um... <laughs> but honestly, this is speaking, why we have these speaking microphones of victims, that, that leads, my manager that ordered. pretty well into today, too, actually. <laughs> speaking of victims, we Joey. Have, we have a really good one today. I'm really, I am so stoked about this episode. I'm so excited. So. It's right up my alley. I mean, it's my thing. And, and I'm so ready. And it's my thing. My gosh, I feel she's like always I'm, trying to take the credit. I'm super into this kind of stuff, though. Like, really bad. Same. So, if you are a crime or crime. murder, mm -hmm. or any of those things, this is the episode for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it Because... Is. Or it, you have to be hearing about this unless you live under a literal rock. A literal this rock. This is like all the rage right now. So, today, we're going to talk about <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer. I'm so excited! I don't know I'm so excited. if you guys have watched... The Jeffrey Dahmer show on Netflix. If you haven't, I would probably go ahead and not watch this because I'm going to spoil every we single are, thing. Spoiler alert, we will spoil some of your things. If you've not watched the Jeffrey Dahmer show or if you have started it and you haven't finished it, then maybe pause the podcast. Put, and, a, put a pin in it. Come and, back to And um, go yeah. watch the Jeffrey Dahmer show on Netflix and then mm -hmm. come back because... We're talking about it, yeah, we are. and it's juicy, and it's, I it's, it's bad. <laughs> I watched that show. It took you. It did take you longer to, to finish it than me. I was like, I was the one that was. As soon as it hit, I was like, here we go. Like I have I binged it all. I have nine million things to do a day, so yeah. I did not get to binge it. I as have quickly. a lot to do, but I made it a very big priority. I had an AirPod in at all times. <laughs> I do not prioritize watching TV as much, mm -hmm. but. I did lay my big ass in bed and watch Jeffrey. And did it did it not make you research everything about him? Oh, absolutely. Down the I have Down laid the in hole. bed watching YouTube documentaries on him it's and sad. listening to the things that he says. Mm -hmm. And what's weird is he sounds so normal. So normal. He does not sound like a serial killer. Nope. Now, like John Wayne Gacy Jr. was like Yeah. Most of them are. I mean, Ted Bundy sounded very normal, but he was very much a narcissist, and it came across very quickly. But Jeffrey Dahmer was very, very, very like, normal, quiet, reserved, just talking just like me and you are. Like, it's just a normal Friday. Like, he wasn't eating that man's thigh the week before. You know what I'm like saying? He like, he did not even care. Like, did not care. <laughs> so, where do we even start so with... So, the, the show. I mean, like... Martez, have you seen Jeffrey Dahmer? Okay. Okay. So let's start about Jeffrey Dahmer then for people who don't know about him. If you don't know about Jeffrey Dahmer, I don't know what it, you're doing. No okay. Anymore. So Jeffrey Dahmer. He's probably one of the most prolific modern serial Modern killers. day serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. So he killed 17 men, mm -hmm. boys, men, boys. They were like from 14 to like 20s. Yeah. So like young that, yeah. men mm -hmm. killed 14 of them in his apartment. 17. 17. Yeah. Sorry, you said, said 14. 14 Messed yeah. me up, girl. Shit. <laughs> um, so, killed 17 men and cannibalized them and chopped their bodies into pieces. Mm -hmm. And, hey, Martez, they was mostly black. 
Not mostly. Not, no. it was like, like half. Oh, yeah, it wasn't mostly. And he did say. Yeah. That it wasn't, like I watched a thing with him the other night. He said it wasn't a racial thing it's for a, him. It's it was a physical build. It was just mm-hmm. what men looked the most attractive. Yeah. And he happened to. He'd it, have killed Martez. He would have killed Martez. Martez would have been dead. Um, He'd have killed me because he was fine. <laughs> I'd have went home with him. I was wondering how long it would take. I would have went home with him. Let you me tell y'all something. If Jeffrey Dahmer met me up in the club and was like, hey, I want to take your picture. I'd be like, where do you want to take it at, baby? Because You'd have been like, I'm a photographer, I'm a baby. photographer, too. So <laughs> I'll teach you I'll teach you the tips and tricks, baby. I'll Don't play with me. What do you want to learn? You would have, You would have been his victim. I'd have been the victim. Easy. Easy. Because I'd have went okay, home with him. Now, Dahmer, when he got arrested, yeah. But Could Dahmer happen. later on? No. Absolutely not. No. But, absolutely not. But Dahmer, when he got arrested. I can see why they went home with him. I could see. Because he, he would have killed Also, though, me. he was, he, I feel like he was more of like the awkward. Very. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he had to at least been semi-attractive at the time. Had to. Because he was very odd. He And he was probably wearing the Coke bottle glasses. He them, was. Them things was five inches. They was thinging. The things was thinging. The things was thinging. <laughs> <The things laughs> <was thangin'. laughs> Let me tell you, so Jeffrey Dahmer would, first and foremost, let's start like where he started as a kid. You know, yep. he his, he and his dad would pick up roadkill mm-hmm. on the side of the road and right. they would do taxidermy and like cut them open and like. And his dad is a, he's like a chemist or something, like yeah. a scientist. So this was like very normal to him that he's teaching his son like anatomy of animals and like this is what it's like and i mean it's so normal to him and i be Jeffrey, damn i'm not about to stop and pick up no damn animal on the side of the road you would move them you got me i would i have moved animals you before would. yeah i know you would. i have I've but picked you would up, not cut mm-hmm. them open i would not cut them open that's a that's a little and his mama she, knew she but, knew his ass was batshit crazy but also like his mama also had a lot a lot of shit wrong with her she's the one that like when right before the first time he ever killed somebody she took his brother after she'd kicked their dad out she took his little brother and left and left him there at 16 years old by mm-hmm. himself in a, a normal ass suburban house and then that was how he ended up with his first victim. He was driving around. Also, let's talk about Jeffrey Dahmer. Also had a very heavy drinking problem very, from a very, very young age. Very, yes. Um, so, I mean, that's how it all started. His mom, I think I've, I've seen interviews with his dad wondering if, like, his mom was on all kinds of psych meds when she was pregnant with him. And he's wondered if that had anything mm-hmm. to do with, like, his, his issues that he had. Um, but that's how his first victim happened is nobody was home. He went driving around drunk. And saw Found his, one of his biggest fantasies was a hitchhiker. A hitchhiker. And it happened, and he was like, Ding. Let me tell you something. If I was hitchhiking and he stopped, <laughs> I'm getting in the car. I'm get, I period. can't believe. Period. Would, I'm you, getting you, in the car. You would have been a victim. I would have been a victim. But you know what? Here's what really gets to me. In the movies, in real life, it don't matter what it is. When somebody goes into a dangerous situation... And they're like, oh, my God, I'm about to get my ass murdered. I probably need to get out of here. But see, what do they do? Hold on. What do they do? They hit them one time, and they run for the door. They'd be like, bam. And then, oh, my God. No. Bitch, you keep hitting them. Like, why do you stop? Well, so, like. I mean, every movie, yeah, they do. Every it's, it's, it's movie. It's one hit, and then they take off It's running. like the one. I'm not I'm not moving until you're not moving. Like the if one, you're not moving anymore, I'll, I'll go for the door. The one, the first guy. So he he got hit from behind. He hit, he took, it. it's very, very symbolic, spoiler alert, of how Jeffrey actually died. Because they were lifting weights, and the guy yes. turned around to leave. Yes. And Jeff took him, and he hit him with a barbell. Yes. Like a dumbbell, as hard as he could, mm-hmm. and knocked him down. At that point, there was no moving. The one, the one in the apartment. Which one? The the, the very one actually, first one. The one that got away. Yes, the one that got away. You know, he like. First just, off, if you had a knife like this on me, bye bye. Are we talking about, about the first one or the last one who actually did get away? The very first one in like the first episode, because you know the actual first one in his house that he killed was later on in the season. Yeah, the one in his in, in his was apartment. Was that one of the black guys? The one of the black guys that he. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. had the knife on him. He wanted to take his picture, so he starts mm-hmm. posing for him and yeah, doing yeah. all this shit. And then I feel like in the show that might have been at the end. I think that might have been the last victim that actually did get away. Was it? 
Or was that? Yes. So it was the first one, but, but it, it, was, it also showed up, it at the end. Yeah. 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 He actually was the, the victim that got away. He, Terry, he ran. Yeah. And he yeah. ran away in handcuffs. But not all of them. Not all of them could could do that with Jeff. Not all of them could have ran away. It brings up a point. But he hit Jeff. He busted his ass in the head with a vase, and he hit the ground. And then he tried to run for the door. That's my what I'm saying is you keep hitting the ass. Over and over yeah. and over. We would do that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre come after me and I get him down, it ain't getting back up. I'm going to kill Cause him. Because I'm going to curb stomp your ass. I'm going to kill him. Period. I'm not running until you die. I'm calls. not going to hit you one time and then take off We're running. We're not calling medics. We're calling the coroner. The coroner's coming. 100%. In the black bag. 100%. And I don't understand that. But, I mean, you, I guess you also have to think, like, in that scenario... You're also dealing with, like, a community that was very scared of police and shit back then. Like, back in, in, in like, the late 80s, early 90s, the gay, like, the gay community in Milwaukee was, like, massive. I mean, it's one of the, it's one of the hot spots for, uh, for gays now. But they were scared of the police because the police were not, they're not, they were not receptive of that back then. It was very much a big, still taboo. They didn't trust the police. So what? You gonna say I'm gay? I was at a gay bar and I went home with a gay man and we were gonna fuck and he's actually a serial killer. They're gonna be like, number one, first red flag is his house smelled like somebody's asshole. How did seventeen? Of how them, did seventeen folks get murdered when their house smells like a rotted asshole? Uh, like a corpse. How? A literal corpse. How? That's what I don't understand. Is if why you even open the door and go inside? I'd have been like, "Nope, I'm gonna head out." I'd be, baby, I'm sorry. You got some Febreze <laughs> or something? Because I got to go. I got to go. Like that is what I don't understand. But I mean, there are a lot of them. Probably, I mean, he did drug some of them very quickly. So, some of them, I think he, and some of them, he. It shows in the show that he attacked people in like the bathhouses. Mm -hmm. You know, they banned him from there because he was drugging people. He wasn't actually killing them. And there were the very first, his very first kill, he did not, that wasn't his intention. And then there's one that he did not mean to kill either that he actually kind of liked. And he blacked out and like he, he said himself, like, I don't, I didn't mean to kill him. Like, I don't remember killing him. That's the one him, in the I, hotel. Yeah. So he, he like, but killed I that I did it. this man in the hotel. Right. And comes 2 has no idea. Comes 2 has no idea that he just murdered this man. Mm -hmm. I think and, it might have been like the second one. And then he puts his body in a suitcase. It was the second one because he goes back to his grandmother's. Yes. And he goes in the he, he, he leaves the body. He puts the body, the body back in the suitcase. Mm -hmm. Carries the suitcase right out past, of the hotel. Past the front desk I and everything. Like, Have a good day. Carrying <laughs> a dead body. And then takes the dead body home and cuts it up. And puts it in the trash bags. And just throws it in the garbage can. No, that's the one he literally took to his grandmother's house. That was when he, before he got his apartment, because that was a white guy. The oh. black men didn't start until he was actually in the neighborhood. Like, that's that was the thing with Dahmer, is it was also talked about a lot, like the racial issue. Mm -hmm. um, but Dahmer, it was all about the physique. And right. all he had available to him in that area. Was black man. Because he that, lived right. in, yeah, he but lived it, in But when he lived in his grandmother's house in that area, you can see his, his profile was different. Mm -hmm. They still had the body that he wanted, but they were... He did Latina. He had the Asian or the Pan Asian, whatever he had. Um, two white men. It was just the area for him. And if you looked the way that, that he wanted you to look, but some I, some of them didn't have the chance to hit him. They did. Like I, one thing they didn't touch on in the show that actually really happened in real life. There's also another documentary they just had. What is it? Confessions of a Killer or something. Mm -hmm. It's like where he actually he, tapes. You can a, hear yeah, him. Yeah, you can like, hear he him talks talking. about it. Um, the 14-year-old, the youngest one, the one that got out. Mm -hmm. He molested that one. Mm -mm. He molested his brother. So Jeffrey, I thought the 14-year-old was the one that he... Mm -mm. The 14-year-old is the one that he killed. So the 14-year-old... Are you sure? Mm -hmm. The 14-year-old's older brother, Jeffrey Dahmer, had been convicted of molesting and already done... He did like six months in jail. And it just... He saw his younger brother at a mall. And when Jeffrey Dahmer had no idea it was his brother... When they told him in jail, like, he knew who he killed. Like, he said this was, the, you know, it was this guy. But he had no idea it was his brother. It was a total coincidence. You can hear it in the, the other documentary that he's like, what? His, that was his brother. Like, he had no idea. But he had, he had been convicted of molesting his victim's older brother. It was completely, because he was, the, the brother was older, and he had been convicted. He was a registered sex offender because of it. Uh huh. And he saw the younger one at a mall. 
So here's one of the things that was really interesting to me. So the fact that he went and started basically the deaf guy. Tony was his name? I think. Tony, I think his name was. Um, so the deaf guy, Tony, he meets. I think Tony is the one he really cared about. Tony is the one that yeah. he cared about. Yeah. So it's kind of weird to see that Tony's deaf. Jeffrey Dahmer does not speak sign language. Right. Or does not sign. Right. So they're writing notes back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, getting to know each other. Like, they're like going on dates. They're hanging out. They're doing all these things. Mm -hmm. And then you see, like, a connection form right, between right. these two. And you're like, oh, Jeffrey's changing his ways. He wish. Because he ain't killed this man he yet. Wish. And it's been weeks and weeks and weeks. And he's like, I'm, far I'm, start I'm farting. I'm starting to fall in love with you. Like, yeah. all these things. Like, they hadn't slept together. Nothing. I think he had, I think what's crazy about him is he possessed the capability to, to care about somebody. But that, it, something inside his brain mm -hmm. was way stronger. Yeah. And you see, like, he multiple times mm -hmm. went to drug him, but they never did. Yeah. And, like, you you know, he even said in a documentary, he said, I didn't want my victims to feel pain. Like, so I would never, drug it them. It was never about killing. It was never about killing. It was, it was about after. controlling. And it after. was, yes. In the after part. Like, it he was liked about being. wanting them to be. His. Yes. Completely. Mm -hmm. Holy. Mm -hmm. And that's why it was never, the killing is always fast. He doesn't want them to feel it. It's about having complete control and afterward. That's, that's all it is for him. And while well, I was talking about the 14 year old, one thing they left out of the, out of the, out of the actual show, which I feel like is kind of talking about what you were talking about. Then why don't they just make sure he's dead and then take off running? The 14 year old is the one that actually got out that, um, in the show, they, you know, they, they have the actress, I forgot her name, Glenda something maybe. The neighbor? Yeah. So Love they actually, her. yeah, but she was not actually his real neighbor. Right. Right. So, but it was her daughter and niece that ran into the 14 year old and they called On the her. street. Yeah. Um, and they left out the reason why the kid was, they're, they're saying he was like just drunk, he's drugged. They left out the biggest reason why he couldn't even communicate with them. It's because right. he was the first one to have a lobotomy. So Jeffrey Dahmer, he's the first one that he tried. He to literally make him a drilled, a, drilled hole a hole in their into head, and injected acid. Yeah, and put acid in their brain to try to make him a living zombie. And the, so, so I that don't he know. Could, so could he get to have him forever? That's what he says. I don't know if you have seen the episode or not, but we have, mm -hmm. and the part that like really kills me is the police took this boy. Let Jeffrey have him. Like, let if him you, have them back. Yeah, and that's what happened in real life. If you go back to how many times Jeffrey Dahmer could have been caught, that's why he didn't stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was arrested for molesting a kid. And he, he just did his time. And, did, and this went back to it. Yeah. And he in he, one of his last interviews, the lady said, she said, if you were out on the street right now, do you think you would still be doing this? Yes. And he said, yes. He I knows would. it. Like he, and, and that's the thing about him is he knew... That's another crazy thing when they when they tried doing the whole insanity plea. Is he sane or insane? Criminally, he's sane. He knows what he's doing is wrong, but he literally cannot stop. There is something that's causing him to literally not stop because he can tell you, I know this is wrong. Mm -hmm. I know that this is wrong. This is morally wrong, criminally wrong, legally wrong. I know it, but I have to do it. I cannot not do it. It's like... And that that's the craziest part about the 14-year-old, because they did. They let him, they let Jeff take him right back. Mm -hmm. And the whole time, he has a hole drilled into his skull. Mm -hmm. but there's, and nobody ever knew. And in an inter interview with Jeff, he says, it was, it was, you know, crazy that there was no blood leaking from it. There was no spinal fluid. It was just a hole from where I had injected him. I don't understand how, how he didn't he, die. Because he did, he, the first one he did that to did. That one didn't. He did less the first time. So he ended up, that's how the kid ended up dying because he was like, oh, he was able to get out and like, blah, blah, I need to do more. So he injected more acid into him when he took him inside and that's what killed him. But that was his second attempt at a lobotomy. My yeah. God. The first one, he just injected a whole bunch of acid in the gut. <laughs> Where the fuck you get acid from? Uh, if it was today's day and age, don't you think uh, the 
NSA or FBI or somebody was like, this motherfucker's buying acid and drums. And drills. And drills. We, we may need to go knock on his Carrying door. bags at the house. We may need to go The check house him. smells like rotted butthole. Looking back, you just, you're just like, how did all, everybody miss How every did this happen? But let's talk, talk about Evan Peters playing then. I mean, you think he is so fine. I do not think I he is I think he fine. is very fine. But besides that. He did phenomenal. Phenomenal. If you listen to an interview of Jeff. He sounds the if same. If you listen to Evan, it's scary. Yeah. He did the mannerisms. And I think there are like a little certain differences. You know what I mean? Like, like Evan Peters doesn't have horrible eyesight. So mm-hmm. like his glasses. I'm used to like. You see interviews with Dahmer. And he has like those signature Coke bottle like underneath. Because they're so thick. And you don't see those in Evan Peters because obviously he can't. Like, he would be, he would, like, kill his eyesight if he did that. But other than that, I mean, he got the mannerisms, like, the dancing, like, everything. The voice is spot on. Like, I feel like if you haven't, like me, I've watched every documentary on Dahmer. Ever. But if you're not like me and you watch a Dahmer documentary and then you watch the show, I, I, would, I would seriously think you couldn't tell them apart. At all. Couldn't tell them apart. Matt, couldn't. could you tell them apart? <laughs> Couldn't tell them apart. You didn't watch it, right? You don't watch. Have you ever heard of Jeffrey Dahmer? Oh, okay. Um. So, but I feel like they did good on. I mean, they they did, did good, good on the show. They did good. They. I feel it like, was good. Now the death scene, they nailed it. I thought I was gonna throw up. They nailed it. Listen, I, we won't we won't go into too much of graphic nature because I say all I know is the YT comes, will delete it it's it comes back full circle baby it is and it's crazy how it happened because literally if you start from the third victim it came full circle back to him and he said like he told the guy he was like kill me like yeah he said I don't care if you kill me or not you can go ahead yeah like he was not scared he was Mm-mm. after he'd been hit he was like you can kill me it's okay I don't care like like this, I think, but he he was he was very adamant that he wanted the death penalty. Yeah, like, and, and they wouldn't and give Milwaukee it to him. Milwaukee was like the state of Wisconsin was talking about bringing it back, and just it was for him. What was it? He got nine counts of nine hundred and ninety nine years. He got like fourteen life terms, something like that. Yeah, it was never getting out. That shit don't make no sense. Just tell me one. Okay, a million years, <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. But he was in. I mean, he was in. Like, um, solitary confinement for, like, almost the entire time. But uh, you know what is insane to me? That people literally were sending him fan mail mm-hmm. and money and, like, mm-hmm. asking him for their their autograph. Oh, yeah, I bet I, there's no telling what a Dahmer autograph will get you now. Like. There ain't no, t- especially now, there's no telling. That is insane you. to me that people would send money to a serial killer and be like, can I get your autograph I would want prison? his autograph. Well, you would want his autograph and I'd fuck him, so we're both <laughs> fucked up. I mean, would you I like? mean, I don't really care for his autograph, no. I mean, I'm, like, I, I mean, he was a serial killer. What he did was horrible. He was not an Oscar nominee. No, what he did was horrible. But, like, it's fascinating to me to think about how somebody's mind could work that way. Fascinating. How how the human brain can go so fucking wrong. Like, it could just go, scoop, other way. How? I don't know. That's how I feel about yours sometimes. I'm not Jeffrey Dahmer. Sometimes you'd be worried. I did wear my glasses in honor of Dahmer today. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody. I wore the Dahmer glasses. I, I, I actually was like, I've never worn glasses on the podcast, and I wear them every day of my life. So I figured I would. Can they see your feet today on this episode? No, but my feet are here. <laughs> Size 11s. Here we are. Size 11s. Anybody want to um, Anybody want to talk about Joey's feet today? Or any, then anybody could send me some on some, clouds. Some, uh, some, I was thinking about money. Some money. You, oh, you want my Venmo or Cash App? Y'all want my OnlyFans? Because I got one now. Somebody can send me some shoes. You can go to mattmatthews.com slash exclusive content, or, and you can sign or up there. Or about feet pics. You know, like, I'm actually open to the possibility. So if anybody is feeling that. I'm open to the possibility. I will send feet pics. Like, okay. they're big. So, I get my toes done. They're okay. So somebody, so, you know, I did create an OnlyFans. It's not, mm-hmm. my, it's not me on there. It is, like, clients and things, you know, when clients sign a full release and I right. can actually share some of their work. That I can't share on social media because it gets me blocked. Right. But like I created this OnlyFans and you know, I'm getting getting little fans on there and doing the things. Right. And it's like it's cool to be able to share stuff that I've never been able to share before. Right, which we're which will come in handy with this podcast too, because you guys yeah. only only certain of you will see certain episodes. So the OnlyFans We're gonna take some to OnlyFans and we're gonna we're gonna talk yeah. about some stuff that I, that, that we I can't, can't share Matt about can't, on can't talk about public. Matt. 
public social media forms. So if you're a part of my OnlyFans, you're going to get exclusive content, yeah. exclusive podcast some episodes. stuff that's actually pretty hard to talk about. Some oh. deep, juicy stuff that oh, cannot the hit the public web. Cannot. But somebody messaged me yesterday on Instagram. I, I don't know. They don't have a profile picture. They don't have, like, any oh, of that. Shit. And they were like, hey, I just wanted to support you, and I wanted to subscribe to your OnlyFans. Could you tell me what kind of content's on there? They wanted to see that tootie one. And I said, you know, like, it's my it's my clients and, like, behind the scenes, stuff that I can't share on social media. Right. They said, oh, are there none of you? I was like, no. But, you know, you should do that. I'm not putting my no, no, tootie no, 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 tootie no, no, no. on the OnlyFans. No, let me finish my damn sentence. You should do some boudoir photos of you every now and again to throw on there, Adam. Baby, I, I, have, like them, that's a, I have them I motherfuckers know. turned upside up, how many, downside right. How many have you done for yourself? I mean, a couple. That's what I'm saying. What if you did one like every few months? Here's my boudoir photos on OnlyFans. I bet people would subscribe to it more. They won't. You tell us. Would you subscribe to the OnlyFans? Would if you, you got subscribe to see, to see my tootie tootie? I'm not talking about full frontal <laughs> nude. Maybe like some implied nudity. They want to see it. They well, want to see it. I ain't never seen it. I don't want to see That's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I no mean. Offense. I love you. I don't, don't want to see your tootie neither. Well, you're a platinum star. I'm a platinum star. Never have I ever touched Ava JJ. You wouldn't come near Not her. even coming out of one. You wouldn't come platinum near Platinum star. I bet star. Jeffrey Dahmer would subscribe to your only fans. I bet he would have. Jeffrey would have been shook with me. He would have I, said, you can know, I my, take your picture next? My wild ass. I'd have been like, Jeffrey, what's your ISO on? <laughs> uh-uh, this ain't the right angle, Jeffrey. You would Jeffrey. say, Jeffrey, this is a Polaroid. This is a Polaroid. Because that's what he used to click, click, the Polaroids. Okay, so we've talked about the highlights of Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm-hmm. We've introduced the OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. We've told you to subscribe to see more of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's it for season one. I mean, oh, that ain't episode it. one. Season, episode one. Season one's been done. Season one has been done. It's, she's a thing of the one. past. If you go listen to it, you'll know she's a thing of the past. So if anybody has watched Dahmer, please, please comment let, let below. Us let us know. Do you think Dahmer was fine? Like, okay, we're going to put, is the we're big, that's also going to put a picture up. TikTok. Martez. We're going to put a picture up right, right here. here. Look where our hands we, are. We, we need a Jeffrey mean Dahmer. This version of Dahmer. But I'm gonna I'm show talking, you. I'm gonna show you the picture. Because I want. we don't mean full Dahmer. I mean, I, when Matt and I can I please tell the you story. Can tell him. I'm sitting at work one night and I get a text from Matt, and this happens quite pre- frequently that this will happen at like nine o'clock at night. On OnlyFans, will tell you why it happens at nine o'clock at night. I, um, <laughs> so he texts me about nine o'clock too. at night, and I, I work nights, so I'm awake, and it's like. Part of my busier time at work, and I've got an AirPod in, and Matt's like, "Joey, I have an idea." I'm like, "Oh fuck!" It's literally always my fuck. I was like, "Oh shit, what is it?" He's like, "So let's do, well, let's do an episode on Dahmer." I was like, "On Dahmer," and he was like, "That motherfucker was so fine, he would have killed me. He would have taken my ass home, and, and he, he would have killed me." And I said, "This has to be an episode." Here we are. It has to. So I'm very grateful that you weren't in Milwaukee in the early 90s. Because Me too, because I wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't. You would. I would be cut up. You you would be down somebody's toilet. And no concrete in the toilet. It would have been Matt Matthews down somebody's in toilet. the toilet. So comment below. Let us know your thoughts on Jeffrey Dahmer. Yep. Uh, if you watch the show, tell us what you think about it. Um, and we look forward to hearing. So if you're not already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Instagrams are in the bio. And tell us how the audio is, bro. Tell us how about that audio. Yes, let us know <laughs> how you like the new audio systems going on here. And we will catch you on the next week's episode of Real Talk. Real <laughs> Talk.